Hello to all of you dear ones, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. Last week, we tested a multi-stage turbine and as shown in the figure, we used three small, medium and large rotors that worked with only one nozzle, which you can see in the video. But this week we will activate the same turbine with three nozzles. And here you can see three numbers of nozzles. And you can also see three rotors of the same size, of course, one of them is a little bigger. And we want to see if this combination of components is suitable for this turbine and if it provides more power or not. To assemble the turbine, as usual, I bring the camera closer to see the steps better. Then this. Of course, I must say that in order to increase the rotational torque of the turbine, we must install a rotating weight on the turbine shaft. Here I am using a worn out stone cutting blade. And I think it weighs about 400 to 500 grams. And that's how I'll put it here. And I will also put a small iron cutting blade in this part and see if it can cut or not. Well, I bring the camera closer and continue working. Now the assembly is done and I have installed this cutting blade as a torque boost. This plate acts like a capacitor in DC circuits that stores electricity. And here it will cause rotational energy storage, which is also used in industry. Of course, the greater the weight and radius of the placed circular plate, the greater the rotational torque. I used a small cutting blade so that it does not slow down when cutting. Now we have to try it. And see how it will work. And I hope we get a positive answer from this turbine. Let's go for the test. The water in this tank has boiled and the steam pressure is almost 8 bar. The important thing is that the solar dish must be clean to have better focusing power. Now I have connected the turbine to the outlet steam valve. Before opening the steam valve, I must say that there is a certain amount of water inside the tube, which first comes out of the nozzle. I have opened the steam valve and water is entering the turbine now. You can see that water is leaving the steam turbine. Now the turn of high pressure steam has arrived and the turbine is accelerating. 
The balance of all the components of the turbine is very important, and the imbalance of the system causes vibration and energy loss. I go and find a piece of sheet metal to cut. This is a piece of 0.75 mm galvanized sheet. Rotational torque helps to continue rotation during cutting. Also, this is a stone cutting blade that I will try. Its blade is very slow. This was a test turbine and in the future program we will use more rotors and I will use iron tube protection. You have seen that the torque of the operating system is the continuation of the uniform rotation of the turbine, even though it will reduce its speed. In these recent programs, I am trying to make a turbine that has the right power, is cheap, and is easy to make. Again I make a small incision and the work is almost dangerous. I hope this video was useful for you and I hope we can complete this turbine. Until the next program take care of yourself. Most videos on Fixed Focus channel have their own innovation and you won't regret watching them, thank you for subscribing and liking.